Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages from all across the world. My name is Chandler Crump, and you guys are now tuned into our twice weekly source for news, entertainment, politics, and the general update on the world, and also things happening with me, the Chandler Brief, right here on YouTube, but also on Rumble, Gitter, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. I think that's all of them. I always struggle to get all of them. We stream to as many platforms as we can. But sometimes that comes at a cost, as today I am proud to, or I, actually I should say not so proud to, but not surprisingly ready to announce that we have received yet another community guideline strike on YouTube. Yep. Check this out. I posted this over to Parlor because I was worried if I posted it to Twitter, I'd get a double whammy. Um, and obviously I like Parlor a good bit. So I posted, you get a strike, you get a strike, everyone gets a strike. So here is the strike I got. Now, keep in mind, this was not on the main channel, the channel you're more than likely watching this on. This was on our backup channel, Chandler Crump Live, where all of my live streams are kept up there as well. We live stream over there. Some of y'all are watching over there. I think Aaron Berenger is and a few other people. Uh, so this is our very first strike on there. But as you guys can see, once you get the first strike, it's just three strikes, you're out. So I'm just sick and tired of it. I really am. Uh, these community guideline strikes on YouTube have been a thorn in my side for literally over a year now. I think approaching two years, all in all honesty. I got demonetized by YouTube in February of 2021 completely. They just zapped gone. And that wasn't a big deal because I didn't really care that much about making money from YouTube. It was more so just like getting out there and seeing people and also super chats that's a really good way to interact with the chat so they cut off yet another way that we could connect we found ways around it though and that was okay but now they're really trying to make it so that i just cannot be on youtube at all it's only a matter of time before more strikes apply to this channel so like i said subscribe to the rumble channel but i'm here to announce a very major change that everyone needs to hear out so if you're half listening listen up streams from here on out will be live on youtube but after the stream is over they will be deleted off of the platform and if you want to watch our live stream after the show ends, it will only be available over on our Locals channel for our supporters. Once again, these streams will only be available in their full length on our Locals channel for supporters. Now, if you don't know what Locals is, it is very similar to a platform like Patreon or... Uh, some other places that I probably shouldn't list. Uh, but it's a great platform where you can financially support me or also just be involved with the community that we have. So we post all sorts of stuff up here, fun announcements, we have polls, all sorts of cool stuff. These streams will now exclusively be available over on Local. So if you want to gain access to that, once again, the link is in the chat and it's also in the description. It is just chandlercrump.locals.com. Once again, chandlercrump.locals.com, all one word for Chandler Crump. Like I said, these streams will only be available on there. From here on out, we'll be doing small clips and stuff on this YouTube channel and on the Rumble channel. But after these streams end, they will not be available on this channel. Uh, and also be sure to give me a follow on all these alt tech socials. Even if you don't really want to deal with locals or subscribing to be over there, it's still a great thing to join the community, interact with the other people there, and also just all in all be updated with things whenever the day comes where they just snap me off these platforms. Because like I said, they are ruthless. I got a strike for talking about Corinne Jean-Pierre and John Fetterman. And I'm about to talk about John Fetterman again today. So as you can see, I'm kind of quite a bit nervous and for good reason. But anyways, without any further ado, let's jump into our show for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement for you all. In the state of Illinois, the purge will now begin. All those crimes that we are about to list will become legal. Anyone sitting in jail with these pending charges, they will be let out. We're going to end up calling someone saying, can we arrest them? because of how little liability there is. If you take someone into custody and doesn't meet all the criteria, you can get in trouble. This is not a drill, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I struggled finding actual sources for articles here because it seems like there's been some sort of media embargo on people actually being able to talk about it, strangely enough. But you have to see this madness right here. It is straight hilarity. What's going on with my stream? Is everything all right? It's, it's giving me some alerts. I hope nothing is going wrong there. Because my streaming software looks like it's fine. I'm connected to all the internet. I don't know. Maybe YouTube is like, uh, yeah, you're trying to push people to local. It's not happening. Anyways, let me talk about this before YouTube cuts me down. Because, you know, they've, they've cut me off in the middle of streams before. I have gotten guideline strikes during streams. The gates are open. Illinois is now ending the cash bail system. Illinois is getting ready for some changes in 2023 that include eliminating its cash bail. However, select lawmakers and law enforcement say it could make communities more dangerous. 
I believe the elimination of cash bail, particularly as it's written in the Safe T Act, will reduce public safety and lead to more crime in Illinois said Patrick Windhorst, who is a former state attorney and state representative. Windhorst said he voted against the bill when it came about and was one of the leading voices against it. The news place reports that the Safety Act is legislation aimed at overhauling the state's criminal justice system. I know after talking with prosecutors and law enforcement, they're really concerned that the public is going to point the finger at them and say, why aren't you doing more about these offenses? And with this major change in the law, a lot of their ability to do their jobs has been restrained. The Johnson County Sheriff agreed with Windhurst. Anyone sitting in jail right now with all these pending charges, they're going to be let out. The bill reportedly passed with the support of upstate lawmakers. Proponents of the law said it's wrong to keep people locked up simply because they can't afford bail. According to the sheriff, fewer suspects will end up going to jail, and only suspects involved in specifically deadly incidents could be held. Which actually isn't even explicitly true because those involved in drug-related second or third degree homicide actually will be released. We're, we're going to hear a video of somebody who's listening it out in a second, and I'm probably going to play the purge horn again just to really, really rub that in, but still. We're going to end up calling someone saying, can we arrest them just because of liability? If you take someone into custody and it doesn't meet all their criteria, you can get in trouble. We're going to be punishing the police for making arrests. Uh, Sop Zach said he isn't clear how the law will be implemented. Windhorst listed some of the offenses that won't involve detention before going to trial. <clears throat> Violent crimes, burglary, robbery, arson, kidnapping, almost all drug offenses, DUI offenses, even DOI offenses involving a death, do not qualify for detention under the Illinois Safety Act. That's going to mean a lot of individuals are committing crimes and being released immediately, if not within a couple of days. You just watched a clip from one of our live shows. Our live shows are exclusively available to our Locals community supporters. So visit the link in the description or go to channelcrump.locals.com and become a monthly supporter for as little as $5 a month to gain access to our full live shows as well as other exclusive content.